The Shearwall software is a tool to perform lateral design of light frame width structures going up to six stories. Shearwalls allows the specification of building perimeters, shear and non shear walls, width and location of openings, as well as roof design on which the software automatically generates seismic and or wind loads following ASCE 716 and distributes them to the shear line based on flexible and rigid diaphragm analysis. Shearwalls also generates multiple results pages, summarizing the loads and the design results for walls, hold downs, collectors, and deflections based on Speedways 2015. In order to precisely design structures, Shearwalls offers a wide variety of design options for you to choose from, such as different wind load generation procedure to approximate the rigidity of shear walls based on either shear wall capacity or deflection, define service conditions, work with the three-term or four-term deflection equation, and many more features. In shear walls, it is possible to work on top of files such as CAD, EMF, WMF, and PDF files. Simply import the file, position the reference point, and start designing the structure. You can even specify multiple stories on one side of the structure and a different number of stories on the other side. When inputting wall materials for sheathing, fasteners, framings and hold downs, multiple choices are offered in order to realistically design the structure. Ranging from structural sheathing to gypsum wallboard, common nails to galvanized box nails, and different hold down models, the wall properties combination choice is ultimately left to your judgment. You can also add customized hold downs to your design as well as edit your own standard walls and save them in the archives. As for openings, simply add them to a selected wall and modify its coordinates and dimensions. Shear walls will take into account each detail specified when calculating the loads and generating the results. As for the roofs, Shearwalls allows the modeling of flat, gable, or hip roof. It is also possible to change the roof configuration regarding ridge direction, slope angles, and overhangs. For those of you who don't necessarily know the material details for the sheathing, fasteners, and framing of the structure when doing the preliminary design, Shearwalls allows you to leave certain parameters as unknown. In the design results, the most efficient combination of details left unknown that would resist the loads will be displayed. Before generating the loads, you can adjust the side information such as the wind speed and exposure type. You can also adjust the risk category site class, and specify any horizontal or vertical irregularities in your structure for the seismic load generation. This will automatically modify the factors taken into account when generating loads. Now, with the single click of a button, the software generates all the wind and seismic loads applied to the structure. It is also possible to manually add or remove loads. After running the design, the software generates multiple pages displaying all the wind and seismic forces applied to the structure, the material used, and design results for shear walls, hold downs, collectors, and deflections. Quickly travel between those pages to relevant information using the Go To Table tab 
such as the design summary, where you can see on which wall and hold down the software has detected a failure due to the loads added. Details on seismic, wind loads generations and torsional analysis can also be found separately in the top toolbar. In the software, force transfer shear walls was added, where shear walls with openings are designed to transfer forces around openings using a rational analysis to determine what those forces are. These forces are displayed on the elevation view and are used by the designer to determine appropriate straps and blocking. This type of shear wall engages the sheathed section of walls above and below openings contributing extra resistance compared to the traditional full height segment shear wall. As an added benefit, the number of hold downs required in the design are reduced because the shear resisting wall segments no longer end at openings, so the hold downs are only required at the ends of the shear line rather than each wall segment. The rationale method implemented in shear walls is consistent with the approach used by APA which is based on the Diekmann method. In the elevation view, in addition to the drag strut and hold down forces, shear walls displays the segment shear forces, straps and blocking forces. It also displays the shear resistance for wall segments in the design results section. Once you are comfortable with all the features of the software, it is possible to design a complete two-story structure in under 10 minutes. In order to guide you through the multiple features and possibilities of the software, training videos, and tutorials on how to efficiently use shear walls are provided on our website.